Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. So we're doing some more horror mystery minis. Uh, as you know, I've only unboxed one of Series 2, and I've unboxed a bunch of Series 3. Uh, I have two more Series 3s, and I was able to get my hands on four of the Series 2. Um, the two Series 3s I got off of uh, GameStop website, along with two of the Series 2, uh, with all the mystery minis they have um, limits on the quantity you can purchase and it's limited to two at least for the horror ones that is so I was only able to get two of the three and two of the two so and then the other two were found on Amazon through a um, private seller called the blind box I believe um, so got four uh, as you know I've only had one before so I'm bound to get something I don't already have although with series three I've unboxed a decent amount and I've got a lot of the common stuff and and the 1 in 24, so, and 1 in 12, so the thing is, I, after this, these are my last two, uh, series 3, basically, because at this point, if I'm buying, my chances of getting something I don't have are so low, and I don't want to just keep throwing money at trying to get stuff that I want, so, um, we'll, uh, finish out these, well, I'll do the series 3 first, just these two, um, and then I'll talk a little bit about the Series 2, like what's in there that I want and stuff before I unbox those. So let's start out with Series 3. My last two. Hoping there's something good. Although, chances are, <laughs> I'm going to get stuff I already have. So we'll see. But maybe I'll get super lucky. That would be, you know, that'd be nice. What do I want most at this point? Not what I think I'm feeling right now. Uh, is this an... Mm. Oh, it's an Elvira, I believe. Another Elvira. This is my third Elvira. I mean, she looks... Actually, she's got some crap on the back of her arm. This is probably the least awesome one, paint-wise, because um, there's some, like, crap on the back, but um, I don't know if you can see it. There's, like, some crap on her arm, like, right here. Kind of weird, but, um, I mean, her paint job is good. Like, she looks great, you know? I just, now I have three of them, and I don't want three of them. And this is why I'm done with Series 3 at this point. Done. I don't want, I don't want more Elvira's. I don't want more Wolfman's. I don't want more Bruce the Sharks from Jaws. Hopefully I get something different in here. Feels pretty light. Feel like it could be another Slimer. That's another one I don't want more of. Because I got two Slimers as well. But we'll see. Mm. Let's see. Oh, God. Oh, um, oh, uh, this might actually be another uh, Jack Torrance from The Shining. I only have one of those, which would be great because then I can take this duplicate to work. Okay, nice. Yeah, that's great. Okay. If I'm going to get duplicates, uh, this is a duplicate I would want for sure. Jack Torrance, he looks great. Someone uh, had come over to my house and took a look at him, at all my mystery minis downstairs, and they were like, wow, you know, he looks so much like Jack Nicholson's character from The Shining. I'm like, yeah. Paint job on this one's a little screwed up, too. If you can see it on the top of his hand, see right here? I don't know if you can really see that. The focusing's hard on it, but um, it's just like a bunch of paint that was supposed to be for the handle of the axe and it got smudged all over his hands so both of these not the best paint jobs kind of weird okay that's it for series three i'm done i'm done there are things i will not get from series three and that's fine whatever let's focus on series two uh all right the one thing i already have is a frankenstein i have a feeling i'm gonna get at least another frankenstein out of here because i shook them around before i started this video and some of them sound like they have pretty large ones in there. I kind of think I'm going to end up with two Frankensteins out of these four, which would really suck. Um, I'm okay with one Frankenstein <laughs> because I already have one so that I can take one to my office. But what do I really want out of this? Uh, obviously the one in 72 pinhead, huge pinhead fan. So that'd be amazing, but chances of getting that are so low. Uh, I actually looked for people who were selling them unboxed online. I can only find one person selling the pinhead one. It's trying to sell for like $128. I don't even know if someone's going to buy that, but not worth it. So anyway, uh, what would I really like? A lot of these are really good. Um, obviously, I'd want 
The Pinhead one, like I said, the other one in 72 is black and white, uh, <clears throat> is a black and white uh, Alfred Hitchcock. Then there's like a glow-in-the-dark Cthulhu that's one, on, one in 36. But as you can see, if you haven't seen this, um, there are a lot of good ones on there. You know, they got the crow, they got the uh, fly from the original fly, they got striped from gremlins. Tons of good stuff. So I'd be happy with just about anything. I'm looking down there because my cat's trolling around. And she, uh, you know, she likes to get into things, especially wrapping pulled off at things. All right, so these are significantly more wrapped than the Series 3 are. All right, come on. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Something good. Big money, no Frankensteins. Big money, no Frankensteins. Ooh, this is... What the hell is this? Oh, this must be um, Nick Frost's character from Shaun of the Dead. Because it feels like he's holding a shovel. I forget his name in that. Ah, that sucks. I forget his name, but... Oh, cool. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, he's wearing the I Got Wood shirt and everything. Um, it's a little bit of like glue on his leg or something. It's kind of weird, but um, looks good. Otherwise, it's a good character. Yeah, check it out. Pretty sweet. He's got the bloody shovel and everything. Um, cool. Fine with that. It's not when I have it. Actually, he won't stand up, so... He won't stand up. So that sucks. I know this has happened with some of these. All right, next one. To like prop them against something or something. Alright. Next. Let's see what we got here. It's another one of him. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Well, hopefully this one stands up. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah, it's the same one. Let's see. That one stands up. Okay, that one stands up. Alright, well, at least if I'm going to get a duplicate of it, it's one that stands up. So that's nice. The other one's just sitting here. He's, like, face planted. Alright. Get some... Okay, well, I can tell by feeling it, it's definitely not him again. That's good. Who is this? He's got some sort of, like, weird... Something sticking out. Oh, is this Simon Pegg's character? I think it's Simon Pegg's character from Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. Okay, well, I got the set of him. Um, and he looks good. He's got, you know, the, the croquet mallet, or the cricket mallet, that's all bloody and everything, and he looks like Simon Pegg's character. That's cool. I like it. And he stands up. Yeah. All right, so I haven't gotten any Frankensteins yet, so hopefully I won't get any. I think I was getting confused when I was uh, shaking around hearing um, Nick Frost's character from Shaun of the Dead because he's a large character. And I was thinking, you know, Frankenstein because he's one of the other large ones. But All right, last one. This could be my last Series 2 period because they're just not that easy to find anymore. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Are you kidding me with this? Unbelievable. Unreal. That's horse shit. But, I mean, that's what happens. Yeah, and this one doesn't stand up either, so... I got three of them, and only... Only one of them stands. That's such shit. Okay. At any, any rate, like I said, I'm done with Series 3. It's over. Um, series 2 will probably be hard to find, so probably the next time you see me unboxing these, it'll be for Series 4, which I'm hoping they do a Series 4, because they've done a really good job with these. Except for when, you know, the characters don't stand up. But at any rate, thanks everyone for checking this out, and uh, keep it brutal.